You still love me if I look like this? Yes. <laughs> you actually look really good with that. I just took it out of my camera's mouth and I don't like it. Okay, I'll just put this over there. So we're going to tell you how alike we are. We're going to see how much alike we are. Wow, my hair looks really short. And it's not short. So, how alike are we? So, we, I don't know why I keep saying that, we have the same, we had the same dream once. It was really weird. It was the same night, mm -hmm. and it was the same thing, and it was really creepy. We think alike, too. We do. Like, this morning, we were talking about something, and I made a pun about something, and she's like, that's what I was going to say! You took that from me! I'm like, I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't remember what it was, though. But we know exactly what somebody's going to say. Like, she was going to, she texted me on kick, saying, guess what, guess what, guess what, guess what, guess what? And I'm like, what? And then she's like, hey. And I'm like, I knew that was coming. <laughs> like, I said, I believe that there was something going on. Dot, dot, dot. For a second. Because I knew she was just going to say hi. So, yeah. I wasn't sure what she was talking about. I thought, like, you were going to say, like, um, I'm moving to, like, a different area in Poway. Yeah, and Chula Vista. Uh, don't. <coughs> it hurts. But they have, like, beautiful houses there, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to have a pool and five bedrooms. I don't want her to move. Except. I am, yes. Except for the one good thing is that she might, like, stay here for, like, a week and I'd be like, yay! Yep. I guarantee you the first night if you do come over, we're going to have, like, a f all nighter. I know. <laughs> it's going to be sick. Anyway. Back to what we were actually talking about. Again with the <laughs> different <laughs> subject. <laughs> um, so, yeah. But we think a lot about each other. It's really creepy. We know everything about each other, really, we basically do. And there's some stuff we don't know about each other. But and we only we knew each other for, like, since the last day of school. Well, it's the first day we hung out. But, like, we started being good friends. Maybe, like, two weeks before school ended, maybe, maybe a month, is when we kind of started to really talk. And then summer came. Yeah, but we never really had a conversation. We kind of just like No, we're like, hey, we good! And then we'd have a really funny thing, and then yeah. a couple pictures. And <laughs> we'd be done for the day. Yep. But I, I'm kind of sad that we didn't hang out with Jane's grade okay, because she's awesome, and I, I love her. Like, we met each other. Like, I knew who she was in the sixth grade. And, like, I was like, oh, yeah, I know. But I don't know her. Yeah. And then seventh grade came, and we were in the same class um, for two, two periods. Yeah. And, um... We sat next to each other for, like, a couple weeks, I think? Or maybe yeah, a maybe a month, because then we switched seats, and it was horrible. <laughs> but our whole little group was awesome. We had the funniest people in our group, except for one person who was really annoying. I don't remember who it was. I don't remember. But it was me, you... Cameron and Tanner. Not Cameron, you weren't sitting with me. No, so like, you were here and then we were right here. We had Vanessa, Parker, Tanner. I thought Cameron was over there. Oh, that's right, Parker. That's who was annoying. Yeah. Sorry, Parker. I'm sorry. But you were annoying. Okay, let me put this here. He was annoying in the beginning of the year. And he was annoying in the middle of the year. But when you actually, like, talk to him, he's not actually that bad, which is very surprising, because I, I swore I hate him. He made he fun of you. He did. More than once. He made fun of everybody. That's why everyone hates him. Yeah, but the reason I really hate him is because he hurt my friend. So. Broke her heart. She's beautiful, too. She really is. You haven't found that right thing. My mom said. She's super skinny. She, she like knows it and she doesn't even try. She and lives literally right down the street where I live. <laughs> she's so adorable. She's very childish. She is. But that's why I really care about her and I love her. She's awesome. Anywho. So, yeah. And then, you know, 
We're just telling you our story on how we became best. So then the last day of school, <laughs> we tried getting a hold Sorry. of her mom. We tried getting a hold of her mom like five times. Like she would answer and then hang up, answer, hang up, answer, hang up. And then we finally got her on the phone. Um, and Best moment ever, actually, because she never knew you. She didn't know you not even once. And she let you come over I my know. House. That was awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. Did she ever do that with anybody? Um... Yeah, actually. <laughs> well, well, I'm glad she did it with me. I know. She must think I'm a good girl, because I, I am a good girl. Mm -hmm. I'm known as the good good yet of school. Really? It's true. Not to anybody. I'm a good goody. Thank you, sir. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Anywho. So, yeah. So, we finally got, like, a hold of her mom. And she's like, okay, let me just drive you. So she drove us all the way down to the bridge over where I live, and we just walked. And I had to call my mom, like, mom, can my friend come over, like, before school ended? It was, like, lunch. She's like, yeah, 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 go ahead, go ahead, just have somebody at the house, I don't care. Um, but the real reason I wanted her mom to take us home was because it I... It was super hot out there. It was so hot, but also because I take the bus home. And there's traffic everywhere. Yeah, and, like, you would have to wait, like, 30 minutes. Where'd they come? Once I came there, first time I came over to your house, it was we got to know everything about each other. And we went, we it was went very in emotional a huge, too. Yeah, we, it was an emotional day. It was an emotional wreck. It was worth it because we got to her know makeup her. all ran down. I was like a freaking <laughs> raccoon or a panda. Well, not a panda because you're not super. Super, super pale like me. You're no, really I mean like the eye pale. part. Oh, yeah, the eye part, yes. More of a raccoon. Yeah, raccoon. Yeah, we learned a lot about each other. But then we continued, loosely did that. And yeah, I would used to like go to your house, your house like, every, every day. single day. And Rika would just call me up in the morning and be like, hey, can I come over here? I'd be asleep and be like, hey, yeah, sure. Mom, <laughs> can you come over? Yeah. Sure. But like I'd break in your house and be like, here's yeah, Rico. <laughs> and then you'd be like, what up, Belly? <laughs> and you'd be like, what up, Rico? <laughs> I'd be like, so. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I was so Those tired. were like the best moments ever. Oh, they were. They're still funny. I still do that. Mm -hmm. You yeah. still do the same thing, and I still do the same thing. Like, what's up, Ellie? You'd be like, what's up, oh, Rico? Oh, hey, yeah, I'm And then you're like, why are you so tired? I'd be like, uh, I just woke up. You woke me up and you got yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. Okay. Look at the time. Oh, wow. I didn't even know it was going that fast. Aw. Take this. Take this. Take this. But now we're like best. <laughs> we are besties and she's my sister. Because we know Ellie. I love this angle because your hair is heading this way. Now I look like I have a nice face. Bad face? Okay. We gotta go. But that's how we got to be best. So this is like you're hiding. Yeah, I'm just gonna hide. You're hiding place. Your shield. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's good to have a, a friend that has fluffy hair. Flappy. Wait, wait. What are you doing? What are you? <laughs> your hair was all messed up. Okay. It was like in like a little bit. Bye. Bye.